it's easy to imagine Greenland as a land of perpetual ice. However, scientists have recently estimated that the Greenland ice sheet may be gone within the millennium. My name is Andy Ashwanden. I'm a glaciologist with the University of Alaska Fairbanks. I work at the Geophysical Institute. Andy and his colleagues have used data collected by NASA to model some of the possible futures of the Greenland ice sheet. So we see our projection of how the Greenland ice sheet will retreat over the course of the next roughly 300 years. It's really cool that now we can actually watch in the animation or in the simulation how we think it behaves. I mean, we put the best physics possible in there and we can actually watch what could happen. And that's something we could not have done before. NASA's Operation Icebridge over the past decade has been instrumental in gathering data sets that help drive our model. This model gives us a more accurate picture of how greenhouse gas emissions may affect Greenland and us in the future. Of the three the scenarios that we tested was one like sort of a low emission, medium emission and high emission scenario. And at the moment, it looks like we are on the highest scenario. The three different scenarios lead to basically three different futures, three different Greenlands. If we choose the path we are on right now, or if we stay on that path, there is actually a good chance that within a thousand years or so, the whole ice sheet will be gone. These scenarios show that the melting ice could contribute at least 80% more sea level rise than previous estimates. This model helps us understand the dynamic nature of the Greenland ice sheet and arms us with the knowledge we need to inform our future.